Good morning. My name is Michael Walsh, and I'm an assistant principal here at the Emily G. Weatherby School. At this time, I'd like to welcome the families and friends of our eighth grade students from the LAE board, Ms. Patricia, Mrs. Patricia Mariano, and representing the superintendent's office, chief of staff, Mrs. Maria Cruz, to the Emily G. Weatherby School eighth grade promotion ceremony. Buenos dias. Mi nombre es Michael Walsh y soy el asistente principal aquí en la escuela Emily G. Weatherby. En este momento, me gustaría dar la bienvenida a las familias y amigos de nuestros estudiantes de octavo grado. De la Junta del LAE, la señora Patricia Mariano y representado la oficina del superintendente, la jefe del personal, la señora Maria Cruz, a la ceremonia de promoción de octavo grado de la escuela Emily G. Weatherby. At this time, I'd like to invite Aisha Garcia and Gabriel Diaz to the stage to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. In este momento, En este momento, me gustaría invitar a Aisha Garcia y Gabriel Diaz al auditorio para recitar el juramento a la bandera. Now, if you could please stand, thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I'd like to induce the, introduce the principal of the Emily G. Weatherby School, Dr. Ada Ramos. Morning, everyone. Buenos dias. Family, friends, students, teachers, our special guest, Lawrence Allianz for Education Chair, Ms. Patricia Mariano, and from Superintendent's Office, Maria Cruz, Welcome to the 2024 Emily G. Weatherby School Promotion Ceremony. I would like to thank all of you for being here today. I want to congratulate our eighth graders. They are coming to an end of one part of a journey, but of course, the beginning of a much larger one. It is filled with challenges, but there's one thing I know about you. Having you for the past three years, you have got perseverance. You know what a struggle looks like. You know what overcoming a struggle looks like. You have so many academic achievements, but academic achievements are only part of what you have accomplished. You have excelling music, dance, art, and sports, and really in life. We are very proud of you. Me gustaría agradecer a todos ustedes por estar aquí. Quiero felicitar a nuestros estudiantes de octavo grado. Están llegando al final de una parte de un viaje, pero por supuesto el comienzo de uno mucho más grande. Está lleno de desafíos. Pero si hay una cosa que sé de ustedes teniéndolo durante los tres últimos años es que tienen perseverancia. Saben cómo es la lucha, saben cómo es la superación. Tienen muchos logros académicos, pero los logros académicos son solo una parte de lo que has conseguido. Se han destacado en la música, el baile, el arte, el deporte y en definitivamente en la vida. Estamos muy orgullosos de ustedes. Hey graders, we have prepared you well for high school. Always keep in mind our strong code. I hope you never forget what it means and keep those values in mind. Estudiantes de octavo grado, 
Los hemos preparado bien para la high school. Tengan siempre presente nuestro código de Strong. Espero que nunca olvides lo que significa y tengas presentes esos valores. High school is full of amazing opportunities, but you are responsible for taking those opportunities and transforming them into meaningful experiences for yourself. As you dream up the next four years, I want you to promise yourself that you will dream big. Promise to yourself that you will have the courage and the confidence to take yourself seriously. At age 13, Ariana Grande, Daddy Yankee, Nikki Chan, who was born in Lawrence, started to sing. At age 14, Anne Frank began writing her diary. Bobby Fischer became an international chess grandmaster. Mozart wrote his first opera. And Nadia Comaneci shot the Olympics with the first ever perfect stand in gymnastics. Now is your turn. As you enter high school, take yourself seriously. Take your life in beautiful and bold directions. Start leaving your mark. Envision greatness in yourself and seize every opportunity that you can achieve. La Escuela Superior está llena de oportunidades increíbles, pero ustedes son los responsables de aprovecharlas y transformarlas en experiencias significativas para ustedes. Mientras sueñas con los próximos cuatro años, quiero que se prometan a ustedes mismos que sueñen en grande. Prométanse en que tendrán el valor y la confianza de tomarse en serio a sí mismos. A los 13 años, Ariana Grande, Daddy Yankee y Nicky Yankee, nació en Lawrence, empezaron a cantar. A los 14, Anne Frank empezó a escribir su diario. Bobby Fischer se convirtió en gran maestro internacional de ajedrez. Mozart escribió su primera ópera. Y Nadia Comaneci comenzó a los Juegos Olímpicos con el primer 10 perfecto de la historia en gimnasio. Ahora es tu turno. Al entrar a la escuela superior, tómense en serio. Lleven sus vidas en direcciones bellas y audaces. Empiecen a dejar huellas. Imagínense la grandeza en ustedes mismos y aprovechen todas las oportunidades que se les presenten. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to your parents, families, and teachers who held the our eighth grade school here today. Thank you very much. Now I thought I was so excited into my speech over here that I would like to introduce now our guest speaker. Uh, Ms. Patricia Mariano, welcome. I would like to say that Ms. Mariano is the person who had me here today in front of you. She was my mentor, she was my principal when I was a teacher, and she told me uh, that you can do it. You can do, follow your dreams. That's why my speech was in reflection of what she believed of me. La señora Patricia Mariano, que le quiero presentar ahora, ella fue mi mentora, ella fue mi directora cuando yo era maestra, y ella creyó en mí, ella sabía que yo podía llegar, que yo lo podía hacer. So thank you so much, Miss Patricia Mariano, for being here today. I can tell you that Mrs. Ramos was one of my best teachers at the General Donovan. Very proud of her. Good morning. It is a pleasure and an honor to be here and offer my best wishes on behalf of the members of the Lawrence Alliance for Education and the Lawrence School Committee to the grade eight Weatherby students as you move on to high school. As I, as I gaze around this auditorium, I see many moms, dads, and family members who are so proud of you. They have high hopes for you, 
and they believe in you. They are smiling and snapping pictures, hoping to record this moment forever. Now take a moment to look at the pride in your teachers' faces. Do you wonder what they're thinking? I am willing to guess that some are thinking about a struggle you had with an assignment, or helping you deal with a personal problem, or how they were there for you just to lend a hand. No matter what the situation was, or the subjects your teachers taught you over the years, their goal was always to help, you, to help each one of you become the best person you can be. A huge thank you goes to these dedicated teachers, and let's give them a round of applause. Moving on to high school is no easy task. I believe each one of you is up to the challenge. Here are a few tips to help you pave your way to success. Have a positive attitude, and remember life is what you make it. Laugh often. Have mental toughness. Be honest and work hard. Choose your decisions and actions carefully. Remember, you must live with the consequences. Be yourself and be confident in yourself. Be kind to people. Consciously treat, each, treat people the way you would want to be treated. Find quality role models. Figure out what characteristic makes him or her awesome and strive to adopt that into your life. Listen to music and appreciate nature. It helps to bring out the beauty in life and will help you to create special memories. Live life with passion. Set your goals and work toward them. And finally, understand that success is not measured in the job you hold or the amount of money you make, Success is measured by the person you become and the choices you make in order to make this world a better place. Say goodbye, eighth grade. Hello, future. We are excited to witness what the next chapter of your life will bring. My very best wishes to all of you as you enter high school. Thank you. I would like to, and I'd like to welcome our student speaker, Louis Alcina, to the stage. We've made a lot of memories of, in this school, some good and bad. When I first came to this school as a little kid, everything was unfamiliar to me. But there were some staff that helped me with those things. On behalf of the eighth grade class, I would like to thank all the staff who have supported us from the past to the present. During my years at the Weatherby, I had a great time spending time with the people that I care about. There were, was one staff teacher that once told me something that no staff had ever to said to me before. Never change who you are because the people out there will try to bring you down. I made myself decide to back away and be afraid or step up and show the world who I am. Towards the end of my final days uh, at the Weatherby, I decided to not be afraid, making my final days great. This is because when the flower grows it from the seeds, it will never go back to a little seed again. So don't take any day for granted. Always stay strong. I am glad to support others and be a part of the school. And I am grateful for the support I received from staff members and classmates. I will cherish the memories made from all 
of the activities we, we've done. But our time here is ended, so use your time wisely. No matter where you are, or no matter where we go, we'll always be Waterloo Warriors. The grade eight teachers and specialists will now present the academic award recipients. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mr. Petrosino, I'm the phys ed teacher. I wanna say first off that I've been at the school for 23 years and I recognized almost every single one of your faces since you were in kindergarten. So I've had most of you for nine years now. And I wanna just tell you how beautiful you all look in your dresses and gentlemen, you look so nice, all dressed up. And let's get on to the ceremony of the award. Usually, when we think of the Phys Ed Award, we think of best athlete, most athletic. Well, myself and Mrs. Hayden decided that we're not always gonna do that. We're gonna look for someone with good character, someone who is polite to others, someone who is caring, helpful, and we couldn't think of anyone except for Louis Alcina. Come on up, buddy. <laughs> Louis exemplifies every aspect of this award. He's a hard worker, he's a great human being. Congratulations. Good morning, my name is Mr. Baglio. I teach music here at the Weatherby. I've been here for six years now. And every year there seems to be like one student that really shines, not only with music, but with the arts and gym, and has an extremely positive attitude that other kids latch on to. Um, this year's student is Brandon Diaz. He not only was very good in music, but he also did drama and excelled, and he could have gotten a few awards today. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Chris Gentle. I'm the art teacher here at Weatherby. I have not been here for 25 years. Um, this award is given to one student who displays artistic drive and passion. They see every assignment as an opportunity to push their work further. They have shown outstanding effort and enthusiasm in art both in and outside of class. This student was never afraid to ask questions, always wanted to show me their artwork, and always took advice very well, even though they might have not always listened to me. But that's what artists do, they find their own way. This student is an extremely talented artist and I see bright things in their future. I am very pleased to give this award to Yanabel Martinez. Good morning, my name is Ms. McKinney and I will be presenting the Theatre Arts Award. Before I present this award, I just want to take a moment to thank all of you for having me be part of your creative journey throughout all these years. Some of you have been teaching since kindergarten and it's just amazing to see your growth um, as individuals and as a class. I'm especially grateful and proud of those who dared to try something new and join our musical production for the first time this year demonstrating courage and dedication. Now for the award. When this student first joined our school during remote learning, I was struck by their outgoing personality even over a screen. When I asked the student to join the musical this year, I knew there was potential, but I did not know how much they would bring to the table. This student stepped up and took on a leading role and their energy and enthusiasm were contagious. This student also showed up and worked very hard in every rehearsal and became a mentor to our younger students. In our combined seventh and eighth grade elective class this year, this student consistently showed a willingness to take risks and try new things. It's been amazing to see them grow and develop as a young performer. 
I hope this student continues to shine their light, take thoughtful risks, and embrace the uncertainty of new adventures as they move forward. It is my pleasure to present this year's Theater Arts Award to Gabriel Diaz. And he knew it. <laughs> Now he's acting shy. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Elizabeth. I also have not been here for 25 years. Um, this student that I'm going to give my award to reminds me a lot of myself when I was her age. Uh, a lot of potential in the arts, but not super confident yet to call herself an artist. So I hope as she goes into high school, uh, she feels ready with this award. Congratulations, Samantha Biggio. <laughs> Social Studies teacher. Um, this year's uh, student for the Social Studies Award um, has always completed assignments and worked hard in class discussions or reviews. They always have the right answer and they always participate. In addition, they have consistently asked questions and shown their own interest in the subject and asking, trying to pursue their knowledge and grow it further and further. Curiosity is a critical skill for going through life, through college, succeeding in academics. Um, I'm very proud of this student. I'm excited to present it to Lester Godillo. Mr. Machado, the eighth grade ELA teacher. This year's ELA award is going to a student who every day exhibited an interest and love for reading, writing, and literature. This student frequently asked questions that propelled class discussions and added insight and wisdom well beyond her years. I know for certain she has a bright future ahead of her in whatever she decides to do. This year's ELA award recipient is Michaela Caraballo. <laughs> Mustafa Udemish, I have been teaching math at Radovi this year. There is nothing more divine than education. It is only through education that one truly becomes wise. Those words came from a Greek philosopher 2,500 years ago. I thought I was wise. Then I came across a student that scored a hundred out of a hundred in any assignments that I gave her this year. That's what I call divine. I'm honored to give this year's award, math award, to Stefania Astudio. <laughs> Today, I have the distinct honor of recognizing an exceptional member of our graduating class. He has been nothing short of amazing in his pursuit of scientific knowledge. His curiosity, dedication, and brilliance have set him apart as a standout student. 
whether in the classroom, the lab, or beyond, he has demonstrated a true passion for science that has inspired us all. As we celebrate our achievements today, let's take a moment to applaud Luis Alcina for outstanding contributions and contributions. Our next award is the Most Improved Award, Academics. The Most Improved Award is given to a student who has shown great academic progress and growth within the past two years from seventh to eighth grade. Please help me in congratulating Raimel Guerrero for the Academic <laughs> academics teacher for grade 7 and 8 and today I'll be presenting um, the second most improved award. This award is going to a student that I have had the opportunity to watch transform over the last two years. My time at the Weatherby has two, been two years and it's been, um, it's been a privilege to be here and thank you so much to my team and um, my administration. My first year with this student started off a bit rocky um, to the point where we had a permanent desk uh, seated night to mine. Briefly of course. Through conversation, a lot of understanding and time, this student made a shift. They recognized that change comes from within. He consistently motivated himself and pushed himself to become a better human being. They have grown as a student, as a friend, as a son, and as a community member through programs such as Aaron's Presence. This student will be greatly missed. I am very excited to hear about their future. This award goes to Raynell Sanchez. parents, students, distinguished guests. My name is Luciano Taveras. I'm the ESL teacher for the 7th and 8th grade here at the Weatherby. I'm presenting the Multilingual Award. This student started a year and a half ago. Since I met this student, I noticed the efforts to understand the English language in all its domains, to learn and apply vocabulary and language rules in all the core classes, to help all her classmates become better themselves. No doubt there is the reason the access score went from 1.8 to 4.1. That's a 128% increase. No doubt that she make, she'll make her family proud. Este estudiante comenzó hace un año y medio. Desde que la conocí, noté sus esfuerzos para comprender el idioma inglés en todos sus dominios, para aprender y aplicar vocabulario y las reglas del lenguaje en todas sus clases. Ayudar a sus compañeros a que mejoren también. Sin duda, es la razón que su puntuación en ACCESS subió de 1.8 a 4.1, un incremento de un 128%. Sin duda, dará orgullo a su familia. De Montelingo a la World goes to Piana Encarnación. I'd now like to invite Leah Akimoto from Aaron's Presence to the stage. Leah is going to present the Aaron's Presence gift. 
Uh, Lee has been become an integral part of the Weatherby community here, uh, facilitating many, many community service projects with our seventh and eighth grade students over the past few years. Hello, I'm Leah Okimoto. I'm the founder and executive director of Aaron's Presence. Since 2016, Aaron's Presence has offered Weatherby 7th and 8th graders the opportunity to use their unique gifts and ideas to help others in the community. And this year, 52 8th graders completed 47 projects that helped over 500 people and animals in the larger community. You're an amazing group of human beings. So I'm excited because this is our very first Aaron's Presence Award at the Weatherby, and it's been given to two students who have been passionately involved for the last two years and truly embody our core values of caring, empowerment, generosity, and community. So congratulations to Gabriela Lopez and Christian Guzman. for everything you do for our community. Aww. Thank you so much. Good morning, I'm Melissa Bramble. I'm the other assistant principal here at the Weatherby School. Today I will be presenting the Academic Excellence Award. This award is given to the student who has obtained the highest overall grade point average across all subject areas in the eighth grade. This student has also had the highest MCAT score of exceeding in math and meeting in ELA. I'd like to present the winner this year, Stephanie Astadio. Awards, I would like to recognize uh, the city councilor Selena Reyes. Selena Reyes, welcome. welcome. So I'm here to present the Perfect Attendance Award. Um, this student, um, or this award is presented to a student who has been here every day and on time. Imagine coming to school every single day. Um, Este, este, este reconocimiento es para un estudiante que ha venido a la escuela todos los días. Um, imagínense venir a la escuela todos los días y a tiempo. <laughs> the recipient of this year's Perfect Attendance Award is Alan Cueto. Award. The award is presented to a parent who is involved in his son's education, is part of the PTO, and comes to every meeting. He's always here. So this recipient of this year's award is Dario Familia, the father of Dario Familia. Dario, Dario, come! Come, Dario!
The next award that I'm going to present is the Principal's Award. And this is the most difficult award that I have to present because it's very difficult for me to choose only one student. The recipient of this award has shown to follow our strong code. It is a role model of what a strong Weatherby warrior is. So this was este, este um, eh, premio que voy a presentar hoy es bien difícil para mí porque solamente tengo que escoger a un estudiante y es bien difícil escogerla solamente a uno. Pero este estudiante ha mostrado ser que sigue nuestro strong, el código de strong que nosotros tenemos. Él es un modelo a seguir lo que es un Weatherby William, um, un guerrero de la Weatherby. So the recipient of the Principal's Award this year is Luis Alcina. We will now present the certificates of promotion to the Weatherby 8th grade class. Please hold all applause until students have received their certificates. Ahora presentamos los certificados de promoción a la clase de otro grado de la Escuela Weatherby. Por favor, de aguantar los aplausos hasta el final. Daliaris Abru. Jamil Carrasquillo, Jaylene Cruz, Dairon Femia, Wallace Guerrero Peguero, Christian Guzman, Dora Hernandez. Alexander Lopez, Chriselli Lopez, Luis Martinez, Anthony Mai Pena, Allison Ortiz, Chantel Rodriguez. Randall Rustrian Serna. Edward Sanchez Peralta. Dariani Santos. Maya Sepulveda. Evan Serrano. Angelisa Sierra. Caitlin Soto Geraldo. Luis Armelli Taveras. Janelise Samarante. Manuel Barroa. Michaela Caraballo. Rudy Castaneda. Chantel Cordoba. Alan Cueto. Jadiel De La Rosa. Isaiah Faulkner. Aisha Garcia. Emily Gonzalez Gomez. Donovan Guzman. Lester Granillo. Ruth Lantiguez Vizcayano. 
Aleska Marte. Yanabel Martinez. Charles McCauley. Brianna Nieves. Julius Owens. Narvel Peña Frias. Tyler Kie. Shalinette Rodriguez. Lise Rodriguez. Alaya Rojas. Raynell Sanchez. Alexander Santiago. Isabella Tejada. Stephanie Asudio. Carlos Battle Fernandez. Samantha Biggio. Javius Carrasquillo. Samelis Del Pozo Sosa. Alexa Diaz De La Cruz. Chris Diaz Vargas. Brandon Diaz. Gabriel Diaz. Leslie Garcia. Raimel Guerrero. Gabriela Lopez. Or Lenny Lopez. Viani Nadal Encarnacion. Joey Ortega. Natalie Peralta. Gloria Reyes. Saris Rodriguez, Joseph Santiago, Roxy Soap, Xavi Tellez Vega, Gianella Ticlas Vasquez. I would like all students to please stand and face your families. I would like to present the high school graduating class of 2028. our promotion ceremony. Families, please remain seated while students exit the auditorium. We welcome you to join your child in the foyer for celebratory cake and lemonade.